What does it take to leave your full-time engineering job and start a new beauty business? Guts and courage. Our next guest has both. Joining us now is local Chicagoan Aisha Kabbalas Crump, founder of Botanica Beauty, and Abigail Ingram, the director of the Women in Entrepreneurship Institute at DePaul. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thanks for being with us this morning. Can you tell me, Aisha, what made you want to take this leap of faith? So I'm, I'm an engineer, as you said, first generation college graduate. And um, I always believe in the power of, of, of helping others and empowering others. And so me creating this beauty brand was really about creating something to create generational wealth, something that I can spread in the community and really use this business as a foundation to grow my family and to grow um, our reach in, in, in society. And tell us a little bit about the beauty line. So Botanica Beauty was founded um, in 2019, and the premise of the brand is Latinx inspired beauty. All of the products were inspired by Latinx ingredients, by um, the, the, I'm a chemical engineer, so everything was formulated using natural ingredients, no, no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oil. And it was really about bringing out our heritage and, and honoring our inner goddess and inspiring us to use these natural products to, to bring out our inner beauty. That's great. And Abigail, tell us how the Women in Entrepreneurship Institute helped in Aisha's case. So the Women in Entrepreneurship Institute is the first in the nation to focus solely on women entrepreneurs. We take businesses like Aisha's, which are already successful and growing, and we try to help them access new markets and particularly powerful networks that are so often more difficult for women to build um, throughout their time as entrepreneurs. So there are many, many studies and stats that show how much more difficult it can be for women to grow large businesses. We take that research and use it to teach Chicago's women entrepreneurs to be successful. This says we're showing a graphic right now, 45 businesses served. 45 businesses, that's amazing. How does it work? Do you reach out to them? Do they reach out to you? It's a mix of both. Um, and we have plenty of women who go through the program and then go ahead and recommend it. Um, to their entrepreneur friends as well. So uh, we would we have open applications. We would love to include more women from Chicago. If you have a business that is woman owned, you are welcome to get involved with the WEI through our accelerator program. Um, you can reach out to us. We just closed our applications for the fall cohort, but keep up with us online and via social media. And um, we're, we're happy to bring in more women entrepreneurs. That's great. I should tell us how much that institute helped out your business. And do you have any advice for people just starting out? Absolutely. So, like I said, as a first generation college grad, not really knowing what I do, what I was doing in all aspects of the business, it was important for me to really put myself in a room with like minded women, with other entrepreneurs, with other females who have the same challenges and struggles as myself. We learned so much about finance, about business structuring. Um, and, and a great example is with this pandemic. Um, we struggled. We, we, we had a lot of challenges with retail and getting distribution and supply chain. And this network and group of an amazing women, oh, like-minded women, really helped me get through this. And we put our heads together and we came up with new ideas. And I was able to pivot during the pandemic. Yeah. And um, we were on Amazon now and do e-commerce, direct to consumer. Um, and the biggest thing I would take for this is a lot of female businesses are not funded. Um, we have trouble getting finance and funding, and we learn so much about funding and finance in, in this program. And, you know, I'm just excited to take what I learned and apply it and That's looking perfect. forward to growing my business and expanding in mass retail, international and beyond. That's great. Well, for more information, go to botanicabeauty.com. Thanks so much for both being with us this morning. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you.